is pretty interesting. This ape says weekly OBV tells the story reaching all time highs. So this is the share price of AMC right here, all these candles right here. And down here is the OBV, the on balance volume. And you can see as of recently, it has been spiking up towards all time highs. Now, normally when a stock sells off, you're gonna see the OBV go down along with it. You can see that across the board, go ahead and do your own research. But with AMC specifically, you can see oddly enough that the OBV has stayed very, very steady. What's really going on here? This ape says, by the way, when this does Moes, I am dancing. We have all been here for a long time. We have been manipulated. We have had to put up with all the scum infecting our sub and this entire community. We have had to deal with everything. And I'm dancing when things hit the fan and I get rich. The Moes is inevitable. Stay strong, apes. Now comment down below if you still think the actual Moes, the mother of all short squeeze, is still on the table. And comment down below, just guess, a prediction, when it will be. This ape says, I think the marketing of AMC Popcorn is top notch. I work with graphics and marketers and graphic designers all the time, and I can tell you that they have a good idea. As far as color schemes and making it pop and the packaging, it's really impressive. Comment down below if you agree with this ape, if you think that the AMC Perfectly Popcorn is exactly the look that it needs to become a multi-billion dollar company. AMC and Ape, these hedges are paying $51 per share to borrow on a $5 stock. LMAO, I'll keep buying. Now, when the cost to borrow is over 1,000%, which it is at this point, how worth it at that point is it to even short a stock that's only around $5 per share? The math honestly just doesn't really work out, and I would love to have some answers here. This ape says why AMC will go to 100K per share. Let's check it out. All right, let's cut the crap. I first bought AMC back in 2021, even when AMC went up to $70 per share. This ape then said, I didn't sell. You want to know why? Because I believe then, as I do now, that each and every AMC share is worth $100,000. I still remember AMC 100K campaign in 2021. So I definitely remember that, and that was basically a movement saying that the retail investors are going to hold on till we get to sky high numbers. And a lot of us have still been holding since back then, me included. We own the AMC float several times over. Look at the short interest, look at the OBV. We're on the threshold list. AMC sales and revenue are doing better than they were last year and the year before that. Don't forget about all the recent massive, massive events like Barbieheimer sales revenue figures, and they're gonna come out next quarter, so get ready. It's just a waiting game now. Either I sell at 100K or I don't sell at all. And comment down below if you've been here since the start of this whole thing. Let us know if you're still holding. Make sure to check out all these other videos to catch up on all the latest AMC Stock DD and information you need.